Hi, welcome to the second part of the Spur Gear housing in KTW5. I've noticed I missed one plane, so let's make this set. That's not necessary because that plane will be put there anyway. So let's go for a plane, should have a distance to the XY plane. And it should be 85 millimeter. Now I will need another body. I will two more bodies. So one and insert another one. Let's make this the active one and hide the other bodies. So hide maybe this one and that body as well. Now let's go for a sketch, maybe a positioned one on the XY plane. Maybe swap, reverse, like this. And I will hide, as usual, my yellow projected elements. If you have any questions regarding this action, I have a dedicated video to this topic. So please check it out. Now let's hide it. Okay, and I need a rectangle which should be symmetric to both axes and I don't want to use those parallel constraints. Again, please check my video regarding this topic. So this should be symmetric to the Y axis and also to the x-axis. Now the dimensions, sorry, I've missed this one. So this should be 270. And that distance should be 145. Finish that sketch. I will need a similar sketch on the plane here and the plane down below. So let's copy this sketch. Copy. Let's paste that sketch up here. And on that down below as well. Great. Now these two sketches should be in the according bodies. So that sketch here should be in this body. So let's move it there into body 5. And the other one should go to body 6. Like that. I have to change those dimensions, of course. So this one here should be 300 by 110. And leave that sketch. And this sketch down below, this will be a pocket. This should be 200. If I do it with a pocket, I could have done it with a body as well, but I want to do it with a pocket. Let's leave that sketch. Okay, now first an extrude in body 5. Yes, we'll go for a pad with that sketch, the other direction, reverse it, and go up to a plane, and that would be the plane with minus 12 millimeter. And confirm. Then let's do a pocket with sketch 8 in this case. Reverse the side, not the side, but the direction and make it 7 millimeter. And confirm. Nice. Now I want to add a draft. So go for draft 45 degrees. And I want to. draft this one here 
this face and of course that face and I want to remove so that draft should go like this so the neutral element would be this one here let's take a look make a preview so that's the other way around so I have to reverse their direction make another preview that's more like it and confirm now I want to do the fillets here so go for an edge fillet and I want to go for four or five millimeters and I want to make one here on there one on this edge and that edge and confirm yeah maybe change it to four millimeter but that doesn't really matter okay next i want to do the ribs so i could do it from above but then i would need a plane with an offset here another one so i want to go for the y z plane so make a sketch position one if you want on the y z plane okay confirm as usual i hide those elements and this should be a line could be a very small one doesn't really matter so let's remove this then give it a distance from that plane to this one and this should be one millimeter it could be symmetric go for symmetry line this one and the length might be let's go for 20 even the two millimeter line would do leave that sketch and now i want to use the rip tool and in kd it's called stiffener so the stiffener would be right there, here, there you go. And it's from the side, it's not from the top. The direction is okay. And see, it will extend to the surrounding geometry. And I want to have a neutral fiber and the thickness should be four millimeter. And confirm. Yes, looks good. Now I want to do a pattern. Okay, this should be pattern. So let's go for a feature pattern. Where you go, there's my rectangular linear pattern. And I want to pattern, not the complete body, but just that stiffener. Uh, the direction would be, in this case, let's take a look, that would be the x-axis, yes. I need seven instances. The distance between this instance and spacing should be, let's take a look, I think it's, I uh, don't recall, it's, where is it? It's 16, it's 20, and I have to position it symmetric to the original one. I want to keep specifications anyway, go for more, and let's go for, should be this position. That's okay. So it's row in direction one, it's row four, which gives me a symmetric pattern and confirm. Nice. Now, this will be another pad or extrude. 
and it should be mirrored and it should be six millimeter this one here and confirm great maybe show the bodies just to see the progress and okay i've missed this extrude should be not in body five it should be of course in body six so let's delete this no harm done make this the active body define a work object and now go for the extrude with mirrored extend six millimeter select that sketch and now bring back this body as well so we are at this stage of the spurgy housing i hope this was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel that would really help you could follow me also on linkedin grabcat facebook x and many more thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye